For the nations are not thinking for themselves right now. For now the principalities have aligned themselves like the prince of Tyrus. And they're using the minds and the mouths of people they can. They have convinced some around the world that they are gods. They have convinced them that they are gods and that they are above everyone else. They have convinced some that they are gods and that people should jump to their command. For now they have challenged heaven and they have challenged my plans, says the Lord, for man. Well, I will fight for man and I will fight for them the way I fought for Adam for I'm still fighting but now you're going to see an alignment among wicked nations and righteous nations and they will begin to array themselves for battle but it will not be the battles you think but there will be skirmishes of battles There will be nations who array themselves army to army. But the Lord says the real battle is going on in the spirit in the heavens. You saw it the day my unborn had the hand of death pulled from its neck. It happened. It happened on the day of six, 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 six. Oh, but there was a counterattack on the same day. And the Lord said, I used this prophet to tell the world weeks before it happened and this platform this ministry because unjust wicked men traded Roe v. Wade for gun control and on the same day the hand was pried from the neck gun control was signed it's a battle between good and evil and it's a battle in the spirit but the Lord says what they thought they were going to do by brokering blood will backfire on them now. For hear these words. They did not realize that by a federal level reversing such a thing, I can now bless the federal government And the righteous states and those that are not so righteous will just be greedy enough to jump on the righteous wagon so that they prosper. Why should this confuse people? It's wartime. Everything you hear is not what it appears to be. Everything you see is not exactly what it appears to be. In wartime. in wartime I'm talking in a lot of code but the Lord has me talking code because now like never before you think that that ended it
that whole deal was brokered it was brokered I remember when the Lord came to me and, and he just came to me all I can tell you is he came to me and told me weeks ago Tell the Republican Party, do not trade Roe v. Wade for gun control. And the same day on 666, when Roe v. Wade was overturned, gun control, the biggest chunk we've ever seen was signed into law. Nobody saw that part. It was brokered. And I remembered. I remember the word that you had said. This is the place where they broke her blood. But it's about to backfire in their face so big. Because now we have justices that are saying, we need to revisit gay marriage now. What will they broker for that? They will run out of stuff to trade. I'm telling you, it was a major milestone because now it can't be put back. I'm going to tell you a spiritual strategy that happened in the world of the spirit, I believe. Even though it was a brokered deal, it's obvious it was a brokered deal, folks. And even though it was a brokered deal, when the deal was brokered and Roe v. Wade was overturned, They might as well have signed the paper that said now wickedness must leave the federal government. They might as well have signed that because the blessing of the Lord now will rush into the federal level and you're going to see a major change. It'll start here and there and here and there, but you'll notice a pattern if you start watching it. I know it's not clear yet, but it will be. 